I'm evil rabbit. I'm not gonna hold that. Oh my god, I did. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Motorsports 7. So, I do want to apologize for the lack of video content recently. I was actually pretty sick recently, and I'm just now getting over it with all our weather change where I live, going from like 70 to 20 in snow to 60 to 20 to 30. So, we're back at it today. You can see my ESDA Camaro chilling in the background and now in the foreground in the new custom livery that I've designed with the uh, gold chrome NRG Innovations logos as well as you know Evil Rabbit Tuning and Evil Rabbit 07 on the door Logitech as well so we are here today to do a bit of a race car to drift car challenge that is because I did win this car in a reward right there the Mazda RX-7 number 62 um, I feel like this car is going to be really fun to drive don't know if i'll be able to make it a drift car but that is exactly what we are going to try and do today we're going to rip this thing straight and try and keep it on the track and then uh we're going to try and get it sideways as well so we're going to hop right into it we're going to leave it how it comes from winning it we got to get into it first take a look at it and then we will go from there I don't know if it's going to be really hard to make it drift, but we're definitely going to try. Where are you? There you are. The number 62 Mazda Motorsports RX-7. Uh, this thing looks so amazing. 599 horsepower. Tire with 370s in the rear. So, uh, yeah, definitely this is going to be very interesting to try to get this thing sideways. Definitely going to rip this thing around and... Uh, different views and track this thing this thing's a nasty looking car uh do i think it's gonna drift i have no idea to be quite honest with you <laughs> so we're going to get a track set up here i feel like we're gonna try something different we're gonna go into three laps and you know what i'm feeling the mazda laguna seca so we are going to shred this Mazda at Mazda Laguna Seca because, you know, Mazda Raceway, Mazda RX-7. So we're going to rip this thing and see how it handles in a grip situation. Then we're going to probably tune it up, try and change up the settings and see if we can't get this thing sideways. If it doesn't get sideways from the get-go. Got to get our wheel all hooked up. Our 350 millimeter energy innovations wheel on our AM Studios quick releases. So, uh, this should be interesting. So, I wonder how this car is going to sound. Oh. Oh, gosh. Yup. Just listen to that. That is crazy. Look at all the master cylinders, kill switches, ECUs. All right, let's rip it. Uh, I don't think we're going to have a problem getting this thing sideways. But let's see if we can track it first. Oh, I braked a little bit too soon on that, but cold tires. This thing sounds insane. All those hoses back there look pretty sick. Yeah, when I saw this car, I was like, I have to do something with this car. Jeez, this thing is so loud. Gotta be a quad rotor race motor. Gets up and goes for, you know, the age of this car being, you know, an older style race car. But this thing hooks. Rip it in first person view. Oh, oh. I totally forgot about that turn. Got that. Oh, it's got a Momo wheel on there. Just listen to that echo. This thing is nasty sounding. So bouncy, but we're good. 
down the core screw. Yep, this thing wants to get sideways, so we're definitely gonna have fun with this when we try getting this car sideways. Ooh. We're gonna hot lap this car right now. Tires are warm. This thing revs so high. Broke a little bit too late. I was expecting it to break uh, quicker than it did, but ooh, this thing already wants to get sideways. This car is so much fun to drive. I actually didn't even know this car was in this game until I won it in the uh, levels, and I was like, "Yep, I definitely want it." Just hearing those backfires and those pops. I feel like if we throw some a little more power in this car maybe and change our tires and suspension and downforce we might be able to get this thing to slide or just rip the handbrake. We're gonna try drifting it how it sits now before we make any modifications. There we go. This thing, ooh. It, it wants to go. Ugh. I was not expecting it to be that tight. As I get a hiccup as I say, you know, expect it to be that tight. I don't know if this car is going to have the steering angle to save it. So, uh, we're going to try ripping it how it is before changing much. This car is crazy cool. If you don't have one of these, try and get yourself one. All right, here we go. We're gonna send it. Uh, I don't think the steering angle is there, so we're gonna have to probably change some acrements. Uh, but if we don't try to get insane angle, it seems like this thing will slide. Yep, so let's change up the suspension and tuning on this car and uh, see what we can do with this and maybe get this thing to slide. Uh, tuning upgrades. I don't think we need more power. I think we're good on power. Can we knock the tires down to... Oh, it's not even on race tires. It's on sports. Can we shrink the track width? No, but we can make it bigger. All right, so I think we're just going to leave this how it is. I do need to check. So now we got to just modify our suspension settings. I'm going to lower the tire pressures a little bit. We're going to leave the gearing how it is. Wow. All right. Drop this down. Drop that up. Add some toe. Add in some caster and... Uh, I think we're gonna leave everything else how it is because it's uh although we probably should lighten it up some because it is pretty stiff and it is dumped on the ground I didn't even do that so luckily I'll be able to put this thing back to default after messing with the suspension the way I am um we're gonna leave that and then we're going to uh, lock our diff. This is probably going to be a very bad idea. But, you know what? That's what we're here to mess around with. So we are going to see if we can't get this thing to slide now. Um, not, not very hopeful. <laughs> I have a feeling I will not get the steering angle I want out of this car. But it is a mean looking car for sure. Oof, and it sounds sick. And it roasts the tires. That's all that matters. Alright, let's see what we can do. There we 
go. Just gotta be easy with. Oh. Okay, so you gotta be easy with it and you gotta keep the tires spinning. So. One of the hardest cars I've tried to drift so far. But the fact that it is a race car and we're trying to do this is uh, why this is so hard. I feel like I should be in second gear with these turns because it has enough RPMs to where I can be in second. There we go. Getting there. Trying. It's trying. We'll get it. We'll get it. Maybe a lap or so. We'll, we'll, we'll get this car sideways really well. Not like that, we won't. It's very, uh, very difficult. I don't see us being able to drift the, uh, the carousel. Or, carousel. The, uh, corkscrew. Nope. The people on this track are probably like, what are you doing to this old race car? Because, uh, you know, I'm just, uh, sending this thing sideways. <laughs> That's a little better. Definitely not easy and definitely not the right car for this by any means. But something different, challenging, and uh, a little bit fun. Well, we got that with just cutting the grass, so. I mean, this thing is a lot of fun to drive. It looks pretty amazing, so that's why we're doing this. Ooh. Yep. The steering angle is... I'm used to the angle on my Camaro. Which we may bring out here at Laguna Seca before we leave Shred for a lap or so in the Camaro. There we go. Oh, yep, it grips. I think we're gonna finish this lap off and then we're probably gonna switch to our Camaro and shred for a lap and see if we can't get the corkscrew nice and sideways and link that corkscrew in uh, the ESDA car. I mean, this thing sounds sick banging redline though. Ooh. I'm gonna try this again, but it's probably not gonna happen. Oh, almost. I mean, it was messy, but it was there. And that was not. So I think it's time. That was So is this car meant to drift? No way. No way in heck is it meant to drift. So we're going to switch this up to any... And we are going to get in our Camaro ESDA car and uh, shred a lap here at Laguna Seca. See if we can't uh, get that corkscrew down. And there it is. A lot different sounding than the, the quad rotor. So now, let's see what we can do in a car that's actually set up for drifting. A lot different. It is fun to send this car on tracks that I don't normally drift at. Because I know it can do it. As long as I stay online. Like, that was somehow saved that. 
this car is so much fun to drive can't wait to get in tandems and you know get into ESDA season ah! and not hit dirt like that because ESDA is closely approaching for round one and here's the thing that I wanted to try and actually get is this corkscrew turn see if we can't make something out of this it's a little bit ugly but we got it and then we linked it into that okay we use this outrun a little jump drift over the dirt we go so I think that's gonna do it here for this episode I hope you guys enjoyed it I have determined that that Mazda RX-7 cannot drift it is not a drift car it is a race car but I wanted to see what I could do with it so I guys hope you enjoyed it you guys know you can follow me on Facebook Twitch Twitter and Instagram all of which are found in the description box below so until next time guys like thank you guys for watching I'm evil rabbits I'm not gonna hold that Oh my god, I did. How did we... What? Okay, we just, like, linked that whole section. So I was going to say that's it, but... I think we're going to go until we stop drifting. We're still going. That's going to be a really long e-brake grab. I feel like that we could have saved that. So that's going to do it. Until next time, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'm out. Oh, I want something.